Yes. Good morning. We're Dorelis and Juan representing FIU with the, the idea of SLAB, which is the Enterprise Computer Integration for Law Enforcement Operational Picture. If you look closely at the name of our team, is the word policed backwards, and this is because we're trying to modernize the way that police departments do roll call briefings. So what is roll call? It's the first 15 to 20 minutes of every police shift that is spent at the station where the officers are briefed about imp important information. This is mostly done uh, in paper or using old systems that are not integrated with the modern information technology. Uh, what happens is that some of the officers are not able to attend the meeting because they may be in court or they may be doing over overlapping shifts. Um, so they're not able to be briefed. Another problem is even if the officer was able to go to the meeting, if something comes up in the middle of the day, it's hard to distribute new information. This problem was actually brought up to us by the Pinecrest Police Department uh, which, uh, based on their own struggles and needs. So we've been working with them for the past three years in a SaaS application called Virtual Roll Call Briefing, uh, which allows the officer to have more time to patrol and increases their productivity by eliminating the need to be in person at the station. So it provides real-time information distribution, and it has um, interactive maps that help the officer make a route and visit the places they need to go for the day. So we know there are some leader, leading competitors out there, like SunGuard, Superior and Smartphones, and Lexington Systems. However, they do not provide a solution specific to briefings without purchasing their whole system, and that comes out very pricey. Also, uh, we, um, we also provide real-time information sharing and interactive maps, uh, which these other systems do not provide. Um, to demonstrate the potential of our um, product, I would like to point out that the Pinecrest Police Department won the 2018 Leadership Award at the International Association of Chiefs of Police, and this is one of the highest awards in the policing world. I would I will also like to point out that this product has been live at the Pinecrest Police Department for over a year now, and they're very happy with the product. We're also talking to other police departments like the city of Doral and Hialeah Gardens, and they're ready to start using our product as well. So if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer, and here's our contact information as well. Hi, uh, can you give us any information about the savings that the police department have made as a result of using the system? The improvement? Okay, yeah, for example, they save time, like in a small uh, department like Pinecrest, with the time saved with the, using this system, they is kind of like represent to um, one officer, a full-time full officer, officer. Like taking care of our uh, Also, it saves the case, for example, there are some cases, I don't say like holy happy, but there are some cases that because of this situation, they have to go to a room, be briefed. There are some times that you cannot find police in, uh, patrol in the street because they are either in the, in the briefing room or the one that is finishing the shift, they are going home. So there is exactly nobody there. There's a gap on time where the officers are leaving the shift and the other ones are being briefed. So that's unsafe time at the streets. So this saves because they can be briefed in the computers of their cars in real time. So they can do it at their own time. Um, what is the benefit of your product versus any other software that maybe is not specific to police, but is more around productivity or even uh, well, project um, management? This product was built specifically to solve this problem that they're having. So the efficiency is better because the other system is built to more like a management process, like crime management, all these other areas and the, for the policing that is to have to do. This um, virtual roll call briefing is based to solve this problem that they have. And it's a problem that many, many stations, like if you ask a uh, chief, is right there, they, they can tell you that they can find this problem in other uh, police stations. Over, over the past 20 years, there have been a number of PC-based in-vehicle systems, fully kind of robust systems. Do you see those folks as your, uh, as your partners? Do you see those as potential alliances? Do you see those as... Um, as a market, I, I, I mean, at this moment we are. This is um, a soft system, which is a service we're gonna host it on, on the Pinecrest station right now, to avoid some certificate um, compliance. compliance that we had to to be. But we, at this point, we don't see us integrating to other systems that they have right now. Okay. But right. it can happen in the future. Oh, sorry. 
Okay.